say good morning once again, Chris H. Olson, to be exact. She didn't say it, she Ashley. She didn't say it. We talked about that this morning. All right, Ashley, uh, you're getting a C on your report card. School's beginning to start, and uh, with uh, lifestyle expert Chris Olson here this morning, Chris H. Olson, it's time now to take a look, a closer look at your summer flower garden and give it a little help. And uh, with school about to start off, it's perfect time for you to to make some necessary steps, maybe to trim back the annuals and give them a second wind. Yeah, right you course. know, you know, a lot of usually right now in the south, a lot of our plants look really tired. This year has been a little bit more unusual well, yeah. because we've had a cool nights and we've had lots of rain. But you know, we still have what two more months of growing season. We still have September and October for your seasonal color that you have planted now to grow. So if you want to make them look really good for the fall. This is when you gotta take a couple things in consideration. So I brought like my begonias. Yeah, I have begonias, love them. They're beautiful, but they're getting a little out of hand. Again, a little leggy. So do you wanna do the honors? I will be But don't to butcher it. it. You wanna lightly prune begonias back right now in patience. Most okay. seasonal colors, if they're starting to get a little bit leggy. How much do you take off? I, I take off about six inches. Right. And it hurts you at first, but we don't wanna lose the whole looking plant. That's why we're only taking six inches off. And if you do that, Look how much better it looks already. It's not okay. leggy, and Alrighty. believe it or not, Alrighty. it's going to flush out and look beautiful for October and November. There you go. See, that's all you got to do. That. Right there. That's perfect. Oh, that that right. looks, there you go. Now, now what you want to do next, though, is the most important thing is if you want to really flush out, you got to start thinking about fertilizer. So I did a test. I want to show everyone this basket right here. Okay, okay. this is a what? Uh, I don't know. A lantana. Okay, Carlos now, Lantana. a lot of our plants, this is what they start looking like at the end of summertime. Now, okay. I didn't fertilize this one at all, but I took the same plant at the same time and fertilized this one twice. Look at the huge difference. If you fertilize, you will have a 500% difference in how your plants look. So it's important. So if we went ahead and fertilized this begonia, it would flush out and look beautiful and last us for at least till we have our hard freeze. Okay, now what are you going to fertilize with though? Any okay, that's purpose? a good question. Any now, everyone yeah. has their own little, their thing. I like miracle Grow. You know, you have these, I like the ones you mix with water and you water it in if it's in pots. Okay. If it's in the ground, that's where I use my granular, like Shake and Feed miracle Grow. And this is the products you want to use. Do it right now and you can still have beautiful plants. Now, if your plants are looking tired, I don't always plant all my pots. I just set them in their existing pots, throw that away, boom, put in a croton, oh, yeah. and I look good. All fall long. Let me trim that back for you. No, no, no. Oh. That one we don't trim back. We don't trim Anyhow, back. so you might want to go ahead and freshen some of your weak plants with new plants. 